good morning start of a new week it's monday we did a run this morning we've been on this health kick recently because we're gonna be going to cabo in august and you know is that vacation motivation every time i have a vacation plan it's like i am in fitness mode i feel like i have to set a vacation for myself in order for me to be on this fitness kick because it really works i don't know if anyone else is feeling like this but to me every time there's a vacation plan i'm like let's go i want to finish the shatter me series it's taking me forever to finish this series for some reason this last book that i'm on it just started out really intense okay like immediately first chapter tragedy i need a i need a little break so i took a little break and then i started reading den of vipers yeah i think that's what it's called anyway i started reading den of vipers that book is also really intense my goodness i'm reading a dystopian YA young adult fiction and then i go to a dark romance captor captive fiction and I feel like I should have chosen another book because both books that I'm reading right now, it's like, you know, like, I need a breather. But I really want to finish this series. This month has been kind of slow for me with reading, honestly. So that's the reality of it, you know? When you're working and you're having fun and you have a life outside of your house, which is good. Really blessed. I think this is good i mean i work from home honestly why am i even put, put makeup on for myself that's why into the book this whole book has been crazy the last book in the shatter me series has been really intense like from the very beginning it was like climaxing the whole time <laughs> this book has kenji and juliet's perspective the book before this the one that i devoured was juliet and warner's perspective and they're at that point right now where you know things are I really feel confident that I'll finish it today. I really think so. shatter me well we finished the shatter me series i finished the imagine me book and i still am unsure how i feel about it but overall i was intrigued the whole time that i kept wanting to continue reading the book so that's that's a huge plus i still love warner i think every girl deserves a warner <laughs> is done yesterday or last night i started when in rome the only reason why i'm reading that book it's because it's been on my tbr i got it on libby and it, now it's my turn to read it so i kind of just want to get it out of the way i did mention that i was also reading den of vipers i think i'm just going to take a little break from that book right now until i finish when in rome hopefully i get to finish this book 
while I'm filming this weekly vlog just so I could at least finish two books. I did get to up to chapter three last night. It's a really cute book so far and I, I wanna keep it going. Good morning again. Today is Wednesday, another lunch break. I wanted to give you an update. So I'm reading one in Rome and I got to 19% of the book. Nothing's really happened. I am just gonna keep on reading. Hopefully I get far into the book. Yesterday I didn't really get much reading done to be honest. My goal is to maybe at least hit halfway. Well, I got 50% into the book last night. I think this book is cute, to be honest. It's, it's very basic for me right now. And a part of me is thinking the female main character, Amelia, she's a little obnoxious. It's not obnoxious, she's just like very quirky. But then at the same time, I thought about it a little bit more and had a little bit more self-reflection. And I was like, does she kind of flirt like me? Do you ever read books and you're like, oh my god, this girl is like way too much. And then you look a little bit further and you're like, oh my gosh, she kind of flirts like me. And then you kind of give yourself the ick. Yeah, yeah, that that has kind of happened a couple times here. I will say right now it's very insta-lovey, but did I already tell you what this book is about? Okay, well, let me tell you anyway. This is a small town romance we are following. Amelia and Noah. This book has both of their perspectives. Amelia is an international superstar. She wants to get away from that life that she's living because she feels very overwhelmed. She is lost in her life. The life she is living is not for her anymore and it's really for other people now. So she wanted to go to Rome. She has a tour coming up. So going to Rome, Rome would probably not be the most realistic option right now. There is a Rome, Kentucky, two hours away from where she's from. She goes there instead. She drives herself there. Her car gets stuck in someone else's lawn, which happens to be Noah's lawn. The way she describes Noah in this book is very, very masculine, very macho. It's the grumpy sunshine trope. It's very basic so far is what I'm gathering from this book but I really am only 50% of the way in, so what do I know? to go to the theaters to watch Barbie. So I finished When in Rome. I wanted to say this to you while it's fresh in my head. I thought it was cute. I did feel like there were a lot of things that were missing. It wasn't it for me, so I'm giving it like a 3.75 and I'll tell you why. I mentioned that this is a small town romance grumpy sunshine kind of like a slow burn it wasn't for me for some reason like I didn't I didn't feel their chemistry a, a part of me was just making myself finish the book and that's why I didn't get myself give it a four stars but if you like small town romances if you like clean romance this is also a, a closed door romance but is there something wrong with me because I want it to be a little darker. No, no, there's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> also, in terms of the conflict, look at the difference my eyebrows make. 
it's probably looking so bad right now because I'm in a rush, but in terms of the conflict, I found myself giving them the solution to the conflict the whole time. I was just like, oh my gosh, this could seriously be over if y'all just talked it through. And I hate it in books where I'm like, there's a misunderstanding because there isn't any communication. And a part of me felt that here. And I don't know if it was intended to be like that, but the whole conflict just felt so dragged. But up until the 80th percent of the book, I was like, okay, I guess like, finally, thank you. Things are happening now, but you know, that's how it always is. It's not really getting good until, until the end. So that's why I'm like, okay, I can't give this book three stars. Either way, I felt like the conflict was getting dragged out and it's such a simple conflict to me in my head. I was like, there is a solution to this, but maybe that's just me simplifying the conflict. It didn't seem as high stake as they were making it sound. For that, it was mid. That's all I have to say. How's that looking? Don't tell me if it's bad. I will cry. No, I'm just kidding. Kind of take back what I said. I said that this is a slow burn. This is very insta-lovey to me. It's like, oh, initially, like right when your car broke down in front of his backyard and then you saw his face, you're like attracted to him. But yes, I get it. That happens. Instant attractions happen all the time. Just such a hater. Maybe I need to just give it one more go. I'm, I'm oversimplifying the conflict and I think that that's just how my brain thinks. If there's conflict, I'm like, okay, what's the solution? How could we, how could we get around this? But I think you should read it and then you can decide. And this is still a first impression. I personally have never read a book twice and maybe if I read it again, I'll have different feelings, but this is a type of book that I don't think I'd read again, to be honest. But it's cute. It's very like, yeah, it's cute. I would recommend this to a high schooler, maybe. Well, it's a completely new day. I wanted to close this out. Thank you so much for joining me. I really wanted to see what my reading schedule would look like during a work week because I do work a full-time job. So I was just curious to see how often will I be able to read? How many books can I finish? In this case, I had a really busy work week. So, you know, not much got done. It's funny seeing in the beginning of the week, I was like, oh my gosh, the books that I'm reading are just so intense for me. And then by the end of the week, the book that I read was like so bleh to me. It's just interesting, just making an observation. But thank you so much for joining me this week. Please consider subscribing. Would really appreciate it if you could give this a like and subscribe. See you next time.